my lovelies well it's morning here so just hello i guess it's your girl jackie friend and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are well wherever you're watching this whatever time you're watching this at, i hope you're good it's men mental health month so to all the guys out there i hope you're doing mentally okay and if you're not speak to someone please 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 and even the females watching i hope you're okay even though it's not our mental health awareness month If you're a subscriber welcome back thank you so much for clicking onto another video and if you are new here hi i hope you like what you watch and if you do please do like comment subscribe follow me on my other socials stick around become part of the family thought we'd do a spend the day with me today like it's been a while since i've been on the camera it's been a while since i've been on youtube i think i put up a video like two weeks ago plan today is to Go to the range. That's the big event of today. I do have work later this evening. Yesterday I was basically in bed all day because Mother Nature came to visit and we're at the chocolate and pain stage. So that's been fun. That was very, very fun. And because it's just me that lives here, I had to go and get my own chocolates. The, the like struggles of living alone that nobody tells you about you have to get up and go and get your own things for yourself like there's no one to be like please can you run to the shop for me i've got to run to the shop for me but it is what it, is. it literally is what it is it is what it is but anyway let's make the bed <laughs> so this right here is my current bin situation I actually don't want the bin to be here. I want a mirror to go here. The bin's not gonna go there, but it was just easier to just keep dumping like little bin bags there until I actually get a bin, which is gonna go in this cupboard right here, which currently has a couple things in it, but like I just need to measure out how big that is and then get a bin that perfectly fits in there because I don't want the bin on show. Another thing that I want to look for while I'm out. So this is like the wardrobe area, as you cannot guess already. So here I want it to be like a bag organizer. That's a bag of bags at the bottom. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna get like something that hangs there and then I just have like little slots for the bags. I here did have like a unit that I really like, but you have to screw it to the wall and I don't really wanna screw anything, especially in the wardrobe and especially because I'm renting. So I don't know, I have to come up with another solution. So if you guys have any ideas, that'd be absolutely amazing. Then up here, it's along the whole thing. Like it was really organized day one of when I unpacked, but since I've been getting clothes out, like it's just looking really messy. So I want to get cute. I've been wanting to get cues, but now it's become more of a thing I like, I need cubes. And then lastly, I want to get, I've seen an Ikea to like, chest of drawers it'll be three drawers high and i'm gonna get two of them they're like 40 centimeters wide so i can get one there and one there this is a bag of hair things there um i want to get that done on stool or something very similar if that's how it'll start to put stuff in there and then that could probably either live in this section because i'm not going to have anything at the bottom yeah i want to get like a little shoe rack but then this is also like my laundry cupboard so wondering how i'm gonna maneuver that one. Oh, and then the last thing is like a storage unit here which i can put like storage boxes in and it can have like little bits and bobs some of them are gonna have the cubes and then some will have like actual files to put paper in in like an orderly fashion <laughs> and there's my puzzle which i actually want to start like maybe i'll do it tomorrow when i have like a day to just do nothing who knows who knows who knows but anyway let's Cook some hello fresh stuff.
dishes done kitchen's looking that little bit cleaner it's time to cook i'm gonna go for this sweet and sticky chicken by noodles with bell pepper and chicken snaps it should take me 25 30 minutes which i think is perfect and i'm hoping it's not that heavy it says it's a customer favorite so i'm excited to try it we've got bag 39 one thing i like about hello fresh is that literally the amount of ingredients you need is literally what you're given and it's so easy to follow the steps like i've never struggled with one of these meals and every meal i've had this is going to be my seventh one so the six that i've had so far have been absolutely banging and they've made me use ingredients that i've never thought think to use before like yesterday i made a sea bass thing i used tarragon i actually finally chopped up tarragon and made a sauce out of it never in my life have i gone to the supermarket and gone let me just get some tarragon never but it was absolutely amazing anyway we need bell pepper check what else sugar snap peas like, i've never bought these grown in zimbabwe represent need to give my fridge a clean basically i went away for the weekend and i bought strawberries like last week wednesday because nathan and i were planning to have them with chocolate i was like this would be a nice dessert we had a starter and a main and like guys i don't eat that much it's either i do a start it's either i do starter and main or main and dessert like it's never all free but it's because i had to get up and get the dessert i was like i can't be bothered now like anyway so i put the strawberries in the freezer because i was like let me not waste them strawberries aren't the cheapest of things in the world i came back i took them out of the freezer and i put them in the fridge yesterday I've got strawberry juice on one of the shelves in there. I also did the same for cucumber. The cucumber, I'm not so butthurt. I should have just thrown it because I like it's 49p to get a new one. But I now have cucumber juice in one of the drawers. So, yay. How sick that these actually come like the chicken comes diced. It saves me a job. Love it. Let's do a taste test. Okay. <gasps> so excited. Noodles is definitely not like a first date kind of a dish. Because this, this gets messy. Mm. This is so good. I'm going to go sit down. Mm -hmm. Get a, a glass of apple juice. And go around away. I don't know what I'm going to watch. Definitely have to put something on to watch while I eat and then get ready and head out to the range. I really need a tripod because this is not working. But anyway, I just quickly did my makeup. I look so ashy. Like the mirror is saying one thing. And then I look at you guys in the camera and I'm like, why do I look different? Anyway, hair, I don't really care. I've only put on makeup because um, of work later in the evening, but... If I was just going to the range, I would not have worn makeup at all. I want to find scissors to cut off all the little curly bits now because the end is so dry. It's literally so dry. But maybe for once I should wear it down because I never wear this hair down. We'll give it a go. I'm gonna perfume up with my Sol de Janeiro number 68 body spray. This is honestly the best one that they do. There's no better body spray than this. And then I use the Oriental spray from Zara, which is a dupe of Victor and Rolf 
flower bomb. Now let's take out the bins. Guys, I'm just a girl. I am just a girl. Tie this together. So I have a balcony. Look, this is like me almost giving you a tour of the place. Anyway, I have a balcony. And I was thinking of getting some chairs for outside because we are approaching summer very, very fast. But I woke up and it was pouring it down. Absolutely pouring it down. It just made me think against the idea. I just don't, I don't know if it's worthwhile. In the lift, where's my rubbish? Literally just a girl. Done. I'm so exhausted. I feel so hot and sweaty already. I'm gonna have to like borrow deodorant or something from a shop. Eve, off to the bridge. I literally just watched my bus go past. But there was nothing I could do because I wasn't gonna run. Hell nah. I was not gonna run and it was like I just crossed the road twice basically but hey ho it's fine it says they come every five minutes which is pretty cool didn't know that I'm not really a bus girl I think I just saw one like about to turn onto this road so hopefully that is the one coming in five minutes am I even on the right side yeah sound I do know these buses gas sick uh, what is that that is rank seeing all these cars drive past is making me miss having my car the thing is i could have my car here in birmingham but i'd have to pay like three to five pounds a day to park here and to have it parked every day is like at least 90 pounds a month and I was just like, I don't know if that's worth it because I don't really need it. Like, for going to work, both jobs, I don't need my car. So, it'd literally be for trips like this, which I just don't think is worth it. Oh my goodness. So, after standing at the bus stop for like 30 minutes, this is when one comes a lot, but I was standing at the bus stop for like 30 minutes, maybe 20. I decided I'm just going to get the train. Train just means I have to walk like 10, 15 minutes when I get off, but I'm more of a train girly anyway. So, <sighs> here we go. Well, not the range, but I'm off the train. Well, the tram. I've never, I don't think I've ever been on a tram before. It's an interesting experience. And the great thing is, like when I'm going to work later, it drops me off a lot closer than the bus would and I can use it to get back home because the tram is like basically by my work and it stops, drops me off like a five minute walk from home. So useful. Also, I bought a ticket, but I'm pretty sure you could get away with not buying a ticket because I bought it on my phone. There was no one that came up to me like, in entering and exiting, there was no point that I had to like tap to say, you know, I paid. So maybe some people are just jumping trams, is that a thing? But it wasn't that expensive to be fair, it was like 4.30 for a return ticket. I'll catch you guys when I'm at the range. The range! Ooh. This is cute. I like this. Still sort of really cute, but they're 16 pounds and they're really small, like I can't use it for anything else. <laughs> it's so overwhelming in here, like there's literally so many aisles. Just came down this cleaning aisle, nearly picked up a couple of items. This is the one I've seen literally all over TikTok. It's actually kind of pretty. So I was going through that vibe, maybe if I had a dressing room. This is a cute half size arch mirror. It is only 39.99. I say only, I think that's a good price considering how much mirrors are these days. I don't like the squares, the squares really do my head in, but this is kind of nice. Emotions, because I'm here thinking I don't want a frame 
on the mirror but this is really cute like really cute there is no price does it have a price behind it oh it's really light as well to move i don't know maybe it'll be on the range website this is the one i've seen all over tiktok this is the one i love this looks a bit too big though for where i want to put it so i don't know it would definitely overlap that wall hmm. i'd definitely go ah don't fall and break i'd definitely go for the black framed one i think that's just more fitting with the apartment but i love 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 i need to take the dimensions and then see at home but yeah look how sick this bit oh it's amazing if i could carry this i would <laughs> Standing LED mirror. Ooh, this is cute. If it was a bit bigger, and I kind of like the arch style. Should we turn it off? Save the battery. I have space above my bed. I don't know if I want to go with like a mirror, kind of like that, above the bed, or get like prints not these prints something like this this is so pretty like an abstract print and they're like 3d pieces on it i cut myself while i was cooking earlier well not cooking but like i was putting the cap back on my knife and it caught my finger it was not fun this is kind of pretty i like that this would be cute by like my entrance there's a little radiator so maybe i could put that around my radiator and then have like things there and a mirror that would be so cute i never thought of that 49.99 that is cute these do not open this one opens but it's got quite a lot of room in there i like how soft it is again no prices why don't why are there no prices i literally all the things that i want to find out about oh this is more of a radiator cover this is nice i like do I prefer that? I think I like that table more that I just saw, but this is kind of nice. I like this, this is really nice. I don't know if I like how high it goes. I think I want to keep it to like two levels. That is cute. How much is that? Six whole, 30 pounds. And then this one. Oh wait, they're both six whole step. Which one's the step one? It is still 60, 30 pounds and this white one's 30 pounds as well. But I'd want it on the side. If it's got feet, I can't get it and I'd have to get the one from Ikea. This is pretty. There was a time I was obsessed with crust silver, velvet stuff. I've not really shown you guys, but in the corner of my room, I want something like this, but one that's like corner shaped. So that's nice, but nah. I do need one of these bathroom caddies, but I might get one that like self stands and supports itself. I don't really have anywhere to hang it. Otherwise, some of these hanging ones would be useful. Like that one's a hanging one. That one's another hanging one. And this one, I have no clue how you're meant to put it up. Like, does it just sit? Then again, I don't have the space to just let it sit. So, <laughs> that's a no from me. Tell me an adult, without telling me an adult, seeing bins excites you. What makes a bin a nice bin? I don't know, but I like this one. 45 litres, it will take me forever to fill that up. But that is nice. And for £20, I budgeted like £30 for a bin change go math um oh that's a broken lid we're not vibing with that Absolutely 
loved that trip. Like, I'm so sorry if all you can hear is wind. Like, I am really sorry. I'll do a voiceover if all you can hear is wind. Um, but I loved it. Like, it's such an adulty shop that's so exciting. If that mirror doesn't fit, I'm gonna have to find something else online and see. Um, I didn't find any like storage cubes in there that are like, like a lot of their storage stuff is like plastic. The search does continue. I might go to Ikea, but Ikea's such a pain to get to if, I don't, if you don't drive there. Working somewhere that doesn't have windows is crazy because stepping out and seeing that it's pitch black, I'm just like, whoa, I know it's 10 pm, but like, still, whoa. But anyway, I'm on my way home, I'm gonna get the tram because we are tram babe now. This is not a cute look, but this top was never gonna fit into my bag, so I just chucked it on when I finished work. But oh my goodness, no better feeling than taking your shoes off and jeans and just putting on comfy clothes but anyway it's time to make dinner before i actually sit down because if i sit down i'm not getting back up again there's literally no chance i thought i'd be able to like stop by tesco and get a goo dessert because i really want one but starbucks tesco was closed so i couldn't get one from there there was no sainsbury's that was like conveniently close to where the tram was so i went into starbucks because it was still open at like 10 p.m how crazy but anyway i went and got a banana loaf cake so i'm excited to have that for dessert um but yeah first things first let's make dinner i'm gonna cook this and then i'll show you guys what it looks like at the end it's almost like hello fresh is like sponsoring this video i know you've got so many sponsors hello fresh but like I don't mind if you guys want to sponsor little me, little old me, you know, like, I'll do it, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, I'm buzzing to have this one. I've been wanting like a rice dish as well, so this is perfect. And spiced rice. But let's get to cooking. This says 30 to 35 minutes, which I think I can just about stand being up and cooking for 30 to 35 minutes. And then I'm not going to get up. Like, literally, the idea of having tomorrow off bring so much joy to my heart and then England's playing tomorrow as well so hopefully we win fingers crossed we win so that'll be a nice ending to the weekend um but yeah I'm gonna cook and then I'll catch you when I'm done yum 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 I am so excited to eat this like I tried the rice like while I was making it firstly this rice came out so perfectly but I don't know if anyone else struggles to cook rice but I do I struggle to cook rice. I will say it at my big age of 26, I struggle to cook rice. I do. I do, I do, I do. It is what it is. But this rice came out so well, like the instructions. This is the best rice I've possibly ever cooked. But I'm always really good with like flavoured rice. Like if I'm just doing plain rice, it never comes out well. I'm going to do a taste test. No, rice is so good. Literally so good and so easy to do. So easy to do. And then some chicken. Mm. Chicken's nice as well. The only thing I'd say is I'd probably use, I don't know, this was thigh. Oh, this is breast. I'd probably use chicken thighs instead because the, I think the breast is so dry. So I'd probably go with chicken thighs instead of breast. But I'm loving this. I'm excited to sit down with me apple juice. Literally, I've had this with like every meal. Like I'm just obsessed with apple juice at the moment. So I'm going to have this. And then I don't know what I'm going to watch. And then come back, have milk and this. I can't wait. Hey guys, me from the future. Just jumping on because I realised I didn't do an outro. Um, the banana loaf one out of ten for me it was it was not it i don't know if it's because it was a bit dry but i normally love like banana cakes and that one did not slap at all it was so upsetting 
um and i'm also so sorry for how out of breath i sound from the moment i'm walking outside like i'm starting the gym tomorrow i'm starting the gym tomorrow that was embarrassing that was so embarrassing but anyway thank you so much if you've gotten up to this point of the video i really do appreciate you if you haven't already please do like comment and subscribe everyone look after your mental health please 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 hope you all have a great week and i'll see you in my next video bye